Thank you so much. And I want to welcome you to CES 2023. We're partnering with the United Nations Trust Fund for Human Security and the World Academy of Art and Science to support a campaign called the Human Security for All campaign. And what that does is it shows how tech innovations can protect human securities, or as we actually call them, human rights. Think about it. What kind of human securities or rights should there be? And the ones that are there that, that they've recognized and we're promoting are fundamental to just basic existence as humans. Clean air and clean water. Food, the right not to be hungry. Health care. Everyone should be entitled to health care. Community engagement. Political involvement. These are things which the United Nations and others have identified as saying these are basic human securities or rights. And, the, and the, the great thing about them is technology can play a difference in making that happen. But first, let's take a closer look. For many people, today's world is insecure, full of threats on many fronts. Violent conflicts, natural disasters, Persistent poverty, epidemics and economic downturns endanger peace, stability, and sustainable development. These threats are no longer isolated events limited to national borders. Their destruction travels the globe with great consequences on all societies. We cannot face these insecurities alone. We need to rise above our national and individual differences as one human family with human security for all. Human security is a people-centered view of what it means to be safe and secure. Faced with unprecedented challenges, the world requires urgent responses and innovative solutions. Next generation and human-centered technology carry the potential to reshape our future. Join us on a mission to bring human security for all through technology. Let us rise together to reach our potential and leave no one behind. 